Hello everybody, my name is Tucker and welcome back to our Russian fishing for float fishing character. Today we are still at Donuts, aiming for some tinch. Starting off with a nice two kilo grass carp on the uh, walrus stick too. So we're over here at uh, 170, or at, sorry, 79.104, kind of in what I call the pond area. So we're up here fishing for tench. So on all three rods, I've got size one hooks and cheese cubes. The two bottom rods are at 10 meters and the float rod is at uh, 75 centimeters for depth. And so far, only thing I've caught, I've been here a little bit, not too long. Only thing I've caught has been that uh, one grassy that you just saw. I did see a tinch uh, get caught right as I showed up here. So hopefully this spot stays alive a little bit. Showed up on VK. I haven't done a whole lot of fishing for tinch or fishing over here, especially for tinch. So I figured I would give it a try and see what we can do. Uh, tinch used to be, when I was leveling up my steam character tench was what i focused on and had a lot of good luck at uh Holberg for tench i missed that one it's clearing my throat and the bite happened apologize if you hear any weird noises as well too my neighbor is having his roof redone i think they're almost done they were just blowing it off a few minutes ago so hopefully no banging or air gunning or uh, they actually had a leaf blower on top of the house blowing off all the debris. So it is almost 7.30 and they've been going since almost 7.30. So not entirely surprised. It's a nice day for them to be out there doing that though. And we've got some rain coming so I'm not entirely surprised I want to get it done. If my knees to believe. We should be having rain right now, but it's not quite that bad. But definitely this weekend, we're looking at some rain. Someone's clawing his way over to try and get me to play with him a little bit more. Once the uh, roofers leave, I'll be able to take him out for a little bit longer. Was barking at him earlier. He did get to play with his uh, friend at the end of the street today too, so he's been a happy dog. Hoping things would be a little bit more lively than this. Tench are a little bit of a uh, cautious fish, so I'm not entirely surprised it's been a little bit slow. Hoping my voice stays with me. It is struggling this evening. Come on, fish. That's going to be three. Can't tell if it's actually on. It's on. Doesn't feel like a grassy. It's a common. Nope, it was a tinch. 1.131. I love the red eyes on the tinch. 678 grams. Uh, evidently, the grass carp I caught when we first started was a water body record grass carp on Telestick. And honestly, that one wasn't super impressive. Uh, almost need to set up with some uh, potatoes and see what we can catch. That caught me very much by surprise. It is just a U.S. water body record, so. Still have to look at it here in a little bit. I think 
the fish gave up there on three. Did a little bit of a nibble and pulled it for a second and then gave up. Yep. That's unfortunate. It is a Wednesday night. I'm actually surprised how much weekly records I've seen with it being as far into the week as it is. Let me just kind of making sure everything's good and tight, especially after something pulled three there for a second. I want to give it a little tug to make sure it was tight. Not stuck in a hole or anything like that. Well, they just turned their compressor on outside again, so maybe they're not done. I'm starting to hear a little bit of hammering. I wonder if they're doing gutters now. That's going to be tomorrow. And then two doors down for me also just had uh, roof materials delivered as well, too. So going to be another long, loud few days. Mom fish. Mom fishy fish. Give me a fish. The wind is blowing from kind of that direction, due south, from the due south to north. That's why the flood's been slowly making its way across. And there, I'm actually sitting on the bottom, which I don't want to be. We can get it out far enough. That's better. Bone fish. Own fish. Come on, fish. Come on, fishy, fishy, fish. I think something was up with this rod, because when I picked it up there, there was way too much tension on it.
Moan, fishy fish. Let's see if recasting that helps. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Started off well. While we're waiting, let's go look at the telescopic grassy record we got. Yeah, very bottom of the barrel, but it is what it is there. And I missed a fish while I was doing that. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. That one's unfortunate. Come on, fish. Feels like another decent tinch. Eh, drowning a little bit more than the tinch does, though. It's a tinch. One point four five one. Not bad. The uh, air compressor outside just shut off. Maybe they are done. My own fish. My own fish. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Give me a good tinch on the bot uh, on the float rod. Wouldn't mind a good tinch on the bottom rod either, but come on, fish. Uh 
Come on, fishy fish. And sorry if uh, any yelling Spanish just came through. I didn't hear enough of it to translate it, but I doubt it made it through, but uh, there was just some of the folks talking loudly to each other. It wasn't an angry yell. Seeing the nibbles. Since there's enough slack, I feel I can pick it up and not scare it off. Oh, that was on. That was on. I'm angry. Still say that was on. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Had to mute there for a second. To could hear some music playing outside and wanted to make sure the microphone didn't pick it up. If I can hear it with my headphones on, there's a chance the microphone could have picked it up. Doesn't look like it is, though. Oh, come on! It's a second, maybe even third time that I pulled the rod out. Pretty sure there should be a fish on there, and it's not. I can... Float was swimming away there. Come on. Give me a good fish on the float rod. Give me a good fish. Give me a good fish. Come on, fish. I'm surprised that scared off the fish. I saw the bite there. Okay, good. It's still there. Come on. Gotcha this time. It's a tinch. 1.415. 1,000 XP. Uh, just a little bit smaller than the last one I caught. I knew it was closed. 
at a 1.451. Now we've got a 1.415. Seems darker than normal for 6.45 at night in game. Come on, take it. You know you want to fish. Yeah. Another tinch. 878, still a marker. Uh, the 1.415 was a weekly record telestick tinch, too. actually curious what the global is so let's take a quick look global is four four point six to five kilos and i got a 1.415 and i'm at the bottom again But that's two weekly records. Or actually a region record. Water body record and a weekly record. Come on, fish. Come on, fishy fish. Come on, fishy fish. Oh. Dang. <laughs> oh, man. I thought about using my bigger rods. I didn't. I should have. Oh, man. It is what it is there. Man, that was a big fish. Not much I could have done either. That's not where I wanted it. I forgot this is longer than the walrus stick. So I can cast it out further easier. 
Not do. Yeah, continuing the trend of losing gear. That's three episodes in a row. Gonna have to fish somewhere else soon. Because today I'm definitely not making money. Looks like we are getting into nighttime. I may pause through the night, at least pause the recording, and then come back during the day for at least a little bit longer. I think I am going to do that. If I hook anything decent, I'll be back, but otherwise, we'll come back in the morning. And we are back, and there is something big on one of the bottom rods. It's probably going to be another grassy or something like that and i have no idea if i'm going to be able to pull this in or if i'm losing more gear keep in mind this is only a 5.4 kilo reel so this is not a super big reel if i can keep it in kind of the pond area here i got a chance Seriously, I can't walk between those two trees. Even my fat butt could do that in real life. Coming over on this side because hopefully I can chase it upriver if it does try and leave the pond. Feels like I might have a chance. When I heard this thing bite for the first time, I was very concerned. Overnight, you did not miss anything. Uh, no bites, no nibbles, no nothing. I think I saw two fish get caught in chat. On land yet, fish? Didn't think there was that much uh, room for the fish to run. Must have moved further down than I thought I did. Stay on their fish. This is a tench. It's a good tench. I doubt it is. on a carrot while reeling it in. I am making decent progress on it. No, I'm not. So 
I'm actually not even railing right now. Now that it's not pulling hard, I'm reeling again. I shouldn't have left the bottom rod, or the uh, float rod in the water, I just thought of that. I just got excited when I heard this rod pull and drag and figured I better try. Something big actually self-latches onto the float rod. We're losing more equipment over there. Come on, fish. This feels like a grass carp. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Stay on there, buddy. Stay on there. Good fish. Stay on there, fish. I did not hear this do a lot of nibbles, whatever it was, just grabbed and ran, which is interesting. That's somewhat like a tench. If this is a tench, it's probably a trophy tench. And it's moving around more than tench usually do in my opinion. So I'm leaning towards like a grass carp or a wild carp. I know this isn't my usual style of content with more floating, but it is what it is when you get a fish like this on here. And honestly, when we get to match rods, things may be very similar anyway. So like I said, I think this is a carp. We'll see. Just notice the other bottom rod has some slack in it. I haven't worn it out yet. I'm pretty sure we're five or six minutes into this, maybe even seven. I want to say we started about 28 minutes in, and it's almost uh, 35 minutes in. I'm all right with burning this reel up.
think the fish knows it's trapped. It just has to make the decision to run past my uh, rod and it's gone. Well, you see when I, when it starts coming to the left, I start moving the rod to the left to just try and keep it in front of it. And also use the rod to help keep tension on it since I'm pretty sure this is bigger than my line, my friction brake. Use the rod as some additional leverage on the fish. And my energy is going down, so that's why I'm eating a couple of carrots. I noticed my food was also going down. I think this one's going to be who tires out first, Tucker or the fish. And I'll tell you now, it's not going to be me. So the fish is either going to have to find a way to get off the hook, or I'm going to get a fish. And now there's a fish on the other bottom rod. But we are committed to this rod. I'm not putting this rod down until I either have the fish or the fish gets off. I think it's wearing down a little bit. That's far enough fish. There you go. Get the feeling when I finally catch this fish, it's going to be floating upside down. If I catch this fish, come on. I let off the click for a second there. So I'm just got a nice seven kilo grassy somewhere. I'm going to guess it's here since it's showing up water body record. Do I have an upside down fish yet? I may have an upside down fish.
I was right. It's grassy. Probably right around 10 pounds or 10 uh, kilos is my guess. Eight point two nine two on a five kilo reel. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not gonna be worth a lot of money, but it was fun. Oh, that one's running now too. And the friction brake back down on this one. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up before something big gets on there and I lose more equipment. And let's go chase this fish. I didn't think this thing was running, so I was not worried about it. Probably another grassy. Not quite as big, two point one five four. Either way, two decent grass carp. I'll take them. Not exactly what I came here for, but good fish nonetheless, and that's all that matters. Someone's had a rough day with the roofers next door and is snoring very loudly on the couch next to me. One happy woofy. There's a bite on the float rod, maybe? At least a nibble. Looks like it didn't stay on though. That's unfortunate. Nice dog snore. He's even doing the, his uh, nose is right next to my arm and I can feel his head twitching in his sleep. Come on, fish. Give me one more good fish. I mean, if I did. All seven of them so far at least have been 
markers. Mon fish. Come on, fish. Even getting the running uh, movements next to me in his sleep. That's when I know I got a good dog. Well, still have a few more minutes before I'm going to wrap it up, but it is definitely slowing down. Well, it's going to be seven fish and one lost fish. I think we're going to have to try something different next time. Well, I love Donuts, I'm starting to get a little burnt out on it. <laughs> So much he rolled upside down on the couch. Downside is he's now also laying with his head on my hand, and I can't move the mouse as much as I'd like to. That's why I'm doing a lot of left to right sidestepping. Seven fish. It's going to be a decent day, even with only seven fish. I think we're going to basically break even. I'm going to say we made 50 silver. And if I had to guess, I'm going to say I'm probably high. 43.88. Not too bad. That eight kilo grassy was 15. Let's see if uh, we had anything for the cafe. Sometimes there's a tench order. Mm, there's common carp, not grass carp. So nothing for the cafe. But we pretty much broke even on the day, which I'll take it. So hope you all enjoyed. We'll be back again tomorrow over on the spin character, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye now.